Welcome to the Police Mark. I've got a couple special co-hosts with me tonight. My good friends and family, THC, the Hellcats. What's up, what's up, what's up? And it is WrestleMania weekend, so we are WrestleMania very nostalgic. Weekend. We are ready to rumble, and I'm telling you what, we're already watching TakeOver. Uh, we keep it right in front of us so we can keep the action rolling. Right now we're watching Ember Ooh. Moon and Shayna Baszler, which... I don't know, guys. What do you What are you thinking here? Well, I haven't it's, been. It's, it's been interesting so far. Current. A little bit that I've been paying attention to. Uh, Basil with the the arm really seems kind of interesting. Keep an eye on that. I like how she's been uh, <coughs> hanging her. Hair. Yeah. Excuse yeah, me. Uh, <coughs> I feel like Shanna Baszler has me in some kind of chokehold. <coughs> Because that the one. Hellcats took a pre-show, pre-show dab. dab, and it has been killing us. I've had my first kabibble. What was it? Kabobble. 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 Your first That's kabobble. It happened. It happened pre-show. I've helped a many people kabobble. experience their first kabobble. That's yep. That, oh. What what Shannon Baszler's doing is what that dad did to me right now. And that is a medical term. Kabobble. That right, that right there kabobble. will give you a kabobble. Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I would think, and then them couple elbows to the ribs and everything else, like man. So, so far, we've, we've had the, the ladder match. That's it so far. That's it. That's the, the, yeah, the now match. Adam Cole is our North American champion. Adam Cole. DC3, Killian Dane, Lars, Lars. Velveteen Dream, and yeah. Ricochet. We didn't catch all of it. We caught the highlights. Velveteen Dream hit a pretty sweet oh my, high he did. altitude that, that elbow drop. Elbow drop. Yeah. And anything, Sick. that purple wing elbow drop or whatever it's called that he does is just the, <clears throat> one of the most ridiculous moves in wrestling yeah. right now. But yeah, my, I'm, say, I'm saying, though, if you're that high up there, why not just, like, snatch, grab the I'll belt, grab that elbow title. drop. Now, if it was me, that's what I would have done. Velveteen Dream is new. He's a young buck. So maybe, I would, he, he is tall. He's a tall guy. He right. could have, he could have I would have, that I would have positioned it. He's yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah no doubt. It, it was it was good, though. It was good. All the same. I mean, so, so far... Would, the, the, the elbow drop is, is a very scary move altogether, and you see a lot of people come down, like, feet first, but he... He can miss you when he gets that whole side. Yeah, he it's, gets it's it the way cool. Macho Man used to get it. He really does. I know you guys saw that figure from Ringside Collectibles. Oh, my God. Oh, the uh, Macho and Liz. The, uh, oh, my God. Oh. With him on his, her, or her yeah. on his shoulder, like that. That is my dream. <laughs> my, my my dream is to have my girl up on my shoulder. When about that, like, that was the biggest moment in my life right there. I still, Hopefully I still next cry year, like, you yeah, guys will be there. came with the belt, too. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw they had a John Cena and Nikki one too. And all like, the ones they, they had. Like it was all the prototypes. Yeah. 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 It was all, all the prototypes. Shayna got her or Ember yeah, got her? I think so. I think I think Ember. I think Ember tapped out the. She, the oh my! The Miss Miss Submission he, he, Queen he, 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 lost. Either that or she pinned her ball. I don't know. The ref's not raising an arm. Oh or no, something. yeah, she won. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it. There's Ronda. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's Ronda's girl. I forgot. All four of them, those, those four, yeah, women, I mean, whatever. I mean, Strong is, uh, missed like, the majority of all that. Oh, okay, okay. Roger Strong's like too. Nice. So, so yeah, that Shayna Baszler is the new NXT Women's Champion. Pretty crazy. But I give it to her. I mean, I, I definitely wasn't the little bit that I did see. She, she's, she's I mean, doing well. She, I, I feel, I feel like it, it is difficult coming in with that MMA background and, and wanting to be so legit. But it, it, it'll take time to see how she. How Once she, she steps out. her promo game up and gets the whole. Yeah, it's, it's all gonna take time. Yeah, the elements will all fall into place. But I mean, the NXT. This is just a start. I mean. And with who she's working with there too. Like I know Ember's on the way up and having uh, Sarah Del Rey there as a trainer. Like. Yeah. That's, and just all the trainers there. They're, they're definitely gonna help her. Oh, I guarantee it. Ember's probably going up to the next and to the main roster soon. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. that that's gotta be coming. My brother's got that uh, the new Divas comic book that came out, and Sarah Del Rey is in it. She's not oh. she's not mentioned, but she's drawn in there as like oh, the trainer okay. or whatever. Like that. That's pretty sweet. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, to even get any mention at all, like okay. to make any tiny little bit of impact in this industry is, is something. It's definitely something. Three so, all, all uh, yeah, that's she put it right out, didn't she? I thought she tapped. Okay. That's what I thought, because she was holding her wrist like she had a Kimura on her or something. But the ref didn't do the arm check thing. He just said, all right, <laughs> she's out. 
So that kind of that kind of like blows the arm spot. Check the arm. Arm check is is a lost. Yeah. They don't does that anymore. Don't don't do that. Whatever. Just like as soon as the eyes are closed. Or you'll see a one. Good enough. I've seen people do the one arm check. Yeah. What? No, he's doing. Don't bring it back up. Oh, there they are. There's no help. There's no helping up anymore. Oh my. So what's the main the main event for tonight is. Alistair. I, I would be Alistair and uh, Andre Cien almost. Is Andrade Cien almost. Is that next? The, the no, I don't probably, next that's going to be like the main. another well, couple matches. How many matches one. have there been? What, what, what else two, did we miss? I think, I think just the ladder started it off. Oh, the ladder was the first? And then this. Uh, oh. Yeah, this and then right the here. women's, yeah. So they really went hard to get the event yeah. straight rocking in. So we still got Leo and. No, 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 that, that'll be. Leo and Drew already wrestled. So that, that match is already happened, so we should know the winner of that already. Did, 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 did they announce who won that yet? No, not yet. No, we could probably look it up, but uh, the, the winner of that will wrestle tomorrow morning. During the, all that was during Access. Oh, none so of that none that's going to be No, that was all just the live, oh, the live fan Access stuff. It was, you know, everybody was doing video. They were there, like all these... Colin Obo girls and all that kind of there stuff. There's so much stuff going on, like the WrestleMania weekend, NXT, oh, I can't keep track of it. Isn't I'm there an, an ROH show tonight and that, as well? That's what I was just getting ready to say. The Ring of Honor Supercard tonight with uh, Cody versus Kenny and uh, like the whole Bullet Club implosion thing. Like, Kenny, or, I mean, uh, Cody's probably going to get kicked out of the Bullet Club. At least that was what was posted. Is, who, who are, the, are the Young Bucks going against? I'm not sure who they wrestle, to tell you the truth. I thought it was, well, no, yeah, if, if uh, Omega's going up against Cody, then it wouldn't be, uh... No, I'm like wondering the if they... Against the young, no, I think they just did that. They the just did that against, one, yeah. The Young Bucks beat the Golden Lovers. Yeah, yeah, so Or wait, that. no, no. The, the Golden Lovers, Lovers yeah, won. The Lovers over. They won, yeah. Boy, Paige has gotten hot. Are you serious? I was about I'm to say the opposite. <laughs> I've never really been a fan I of I don't Paige. like all the makeup. The makeup's disgusting. But She's gotten... She's getting a little. She's drinking. You can tell that's. She's yeah. not training. She, I mean, she has yeah. No but really, if you are just getting paid to come out, would you be? I mean, training? you're also like, being paid to be hot too. Not okay. not well, saying true, that chunky girls true. aren't hot. Don't Her, come at me, less, internet. Less, Jeez. Oh, I know. I'm right? just saying. It's just just, I'm a just comment. saying. Just a comment. Just a comment. Mm -hmm. So we might as well pay homage to our sponsors, Potomac Hydroponics. Thank you, um, Jay. If you could roll that little clip that we did for them. Roll the footage. This is the first time this video has been aired, so I hope you enjoy it. Potomac Hydroponics, for all your growing needs. We can help you grow it all. Come talk to us. We can help you out. Potomac Hydroponics, Hagerstown, Maryland. Potomac Hydroponics, for all your growing needs. We can help you grow it all. Come talk to us, we can help you out. Potomac Hydroponics, Hagerstown, Maryland. That video was so nice, we had to play it twice. That's right. Selfless plug, selfless plug. Somebody's got to make these things happen, and they're just the ones who so happen to be there in the corner. So question about that. Does that mean, like, is that like I can get, like, my own little, like, home hydroponic system hookup? Anything as far as that goes, yes. That's what so I need. lighting, pots, and everything. Lighting, all that. everything. Okay. Literally anything that Filtration. you can find as far as growing goes. Tomatoes, roses, Tomato. tulips. Oh, okay. I don't care what you like to grow. As long as you got a green thumb. It really doesn't matter. If your thumb is green, I can help you out. John can help you out. Potomac Hydroponics all day long. Awesome. Uh, Check them out. Yeah. Come see us. So who's, who's last... Whose last takeover is this? Who's, who are we definitely going to see called up uh, <coughs> on Monday or Tuesday? <coughs> any, any I thought I thought it would be Adam Cole. I thought Adam Cole was going to lose, and then That's, I kind of thought that too, up, but, but not with know. the way it is with uh, with Red Dragon with Undisputed Era. Maybe Alistair. Yeah, them having. If all the he spells. would lose, maybe. But almost, if he loses, he. I, I see. Yeah, him. Him already being in the Rumble. Already getting a big reaction from the Rumble, I can definitely see him being. Because uh, he was a huge luchador. Yeah. A huge. And he's, he's got a good look, good, especially with the girl adding the girl to him. Like really, uh, I forgot what her name is. She's from, she was from TNA. Yeah. She was Selena in TNA. They've uh, um, it's, it's definitely added a lot to his character. So I can definitely see him. Well, I, she's I can see his him promo now. His promos weren't there. 
And now she's oh yeah, combo. yeah. Just, you know, being a loser for, loser door for that long, not being used to that, that style. Nah, because promoing isn't your main part there. It's the flair you have in the ring. Oh yeah, the Dusty should, Classic. Should, this is where should, I want to see you. We should ask about the parking situation. Oh, I forgot about that. We just parked out front. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. You are totally cool. Yes. Yeah. This is Saturday that was, that was like our main question when yeah. we first got in here. But no, this is Saturday night. Ask. You're okay on Saturday we're nights. We're there, and we're gonna have no vehicle. No, that's not the case. After 6:30, then everything is cool. Awesome. So now we're on to the Dusty. This this was made into a three-way, right? A three-way These three-way. guys. Well, I'm predicting it. Dusty Classic within the next year to two. That's, that's, right. a, that's definitely one of our one of our long-term goals. Well, not, not long, but the short-term goal we talked about definitely. With the way that NXT's been going lately, there's no reason why we definitely can't be up uh, with 205. Absolutely not. NXT right now. Just being hands with doing what we got to do until we, uh, until we make an impact. You guys could definitely fit there, like, without question. These are my heel brothers from another mother. Hmm. Yeah, uh, when we heard about that... Uh, like the first Dusty uh, tag team tournament, we were real psyched. We were like, oh shit, this might be Bro, this I might mean, be our time to shine. Always huge tag team fans, and then for them to never never really break out tag teams like this. So when the first one happened, it was amazing. Well, what do you so, think of the Pete yeah. Dunn and Roddy? See, well, they're st- that's what I'm saying. That's, that, that's my problem with it. They're still doing kind of a just throw two throw single guys, guys together. together. Well, these guys work. But, like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't fit, but it yeah. does at the same time. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, ha- having one is cool, but like just doing like constantly. Oh, a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. That's it, it gets yeah. A repetitive. Yes, yeah. completely. That's why. Well, I I do like AOP. AOP has been uh, been consistent for a while. Like they like they're weird. They were weird at first. So you didn't really know how to take them. When they brought them out, like but Ninja yeah, Turtles. but yeah, but now they have they've been uh been They've like on a path of destruction pretty solidified much as something real yes and you, and you can't like you can't deny the, the amount of great matches that they've had with uh like with gargano and uh yeah and champa like just from that like they've been doing it for a while so it's they, no I, bullshit. I, feel, I feel seeing them on uh on wall yep. can definitely happen everything they've done has been up to par there's only been a couple of those like when they smash the dudes, the dudes together together yeah, yeah. that they've kind of slipped up on a little bit but other than that Still, I mean, and having Paul Hellering with them, like that's that's easy. That's this guy right here. <laughs> I will be the next Paul. Oh, Hellering. Paul Hellering is Jag. You ever see that man? That's yeah. Is. Paul Hellering is a fucking legend, bro. He is a legend. Like, See, he, seeing them with the, uh, with AOP is really is really interesting. Warriors all over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if, if he he brought them, brought the. I mean, he didn't really bring the. I mean, definitely. He did bring the road warriors. Do credit him with doing a lot of stuff for them, being like their legit manager, like taking care of all their road stuff. Yeah. So just just all that knowledge right there that he can pass on to AOP. He was a hell of a promo guy. Like he could. Oh yeah. Like literally, he did a lot and a lot for the industry. So otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him back and left him be the oh, voice yeah. of yeah. these guys. Like, but they knew those guys' his English isn't all up that far, so they have to like. You speak English? English? They do. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, they're but fine. they're from another country, so it's like kind of off a little bit. Is oh, Rachel I didn't know that. I thought they were like just like. Is Rachel Ellering signed, or is she just have like a? Was she in the tournament? She was in the. She the was in the May Young. Yeah. They're doing. A, uh, they just announced another May Young. They didn't announce no participants yet. Oh, okay. they're, they're doing. Uh, the next nice. So is Adam? Cole, so did they <coughs> say Adam Cole is going to be in this, or is he? Yeah, Cole's, Cole's in America. the in the match. Well, no, I just saw that, that, that little him sitting with the doctor, so I didn't know if he was complaining there. Or uh, maybe it was. Wait, so it's two Let's tag teams and then a three-man? It's a, it's a, no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, oh. Bo- Bobby Fish and uh, Kyle O'Reilly are the tag champs, yeah. and Bobby Fish is injured. Oh. So Cole's got to step in. Gotcha, gotcha, it. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But Cole was also in the ladder match, so. That's why I was wondering if Cole came out with that belt earlier during the pre-show. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing with the belt? And then I realized. Well, that was a better deal. At least it wasn't the Ninja Turtle mask. That looks okay. so much cooler. So where are these guys from? <laughs> I don't I, know exactly. It's no. a Middle Eastern country. I can't remember. Oh, they're, oh they're Middle Eastern. Oh. Yeah, because they speak... It's like an Arabic kind of... I, can't, I don't know what the, the language is, but... Yeah, I've, I've never, never fully looked them up. But I've, I've, I've liked them. They've it's like if they took the Singh brothers and gave them, like, the Bane <laughs> treatment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the green slime in them. They've always been a solid. I, I definitely like them better. Like I love Luke Harper and I love Eric Rowan, but I, I like 
that more of a convincing tag team than the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, but then that could be a, fi- a fit for beasts having a tag team. You know, like the two beasts going against each other. Like, the, 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 the reason why they can't show up on SmackDown and go after them. Exactly. After this. I could see them, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I could see them getting called up to one of them at least. Wait, so he's in a tag match and then he's got to defend that tomorrow? And tomorrow he'll defend that against you whoever. Can't, can't I, I just tried to look it up. I didn't see if they if they said who, no, who they won out of Leo and Drew. That's who gets a chance at it. Leo Rush and yeah, Jugulak. Both them dudes have been in MCW. Yes, yes. Gulak's been local for a while. Yeah. Gulak, Gulak was a big uh, CCW and Jakar trainer. Trained down there. Trained a lot of the guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, Drew uh, Gulak is who trained Brittany. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's a, he's a really good wrestler himself. Technician, to say the least. That's why I was, I was a little uh, upset that he didn't get the, uh, the push to go to Mania against Cedric. I thought he would have... Uh, Nobody stopped. cares I, about I, the Cruiserweight. No. Yeah, it, it, it's no, it's they picked don't. up with the, with the whole <clears throat> tournament and with, uh, and with, Spud. The Mag- uh, with Spud being there. It's helped. Drake Maverick, I should say. And I, you know, I, can't, I can't get over there. He was Rockstar Spud. He wasn't Drake Maverick, like... But I feel like there, that was the belt that needed the, uh, like to get the shine because of all the champions like fading out that they didn't have a champion. Now this the vacated championship, this is the it one that needs to be, to be shined to up. Yes, but then like, in the midst of that, they announced like twenty five more championships. So it is like now crazy. nobody even cares about it. No, it's Leo gonna get did to win be. The Leo, Leo did. Oh, crazy. So, well, face well, Shout got, out Leo at least we Rush. We got a local in there going for that UK championship. Leo Rush, good on you, brother. Good on you. Mm-hmm. That, that's good, but both of them having a good Velvet team with the yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, match yeah. Now Leo going. It's crazy to have Leo like for him to be low, low key for a while. I know he had an injury for a little while. When everybody, I know everybody had that like concern with the whole Twitter thing with Emma. But I know that he was he was also injured during that yeah, time too. So yeah, people yeah. were like. Didn't know what they were doing I like thought him. his signing got screwed up somehow or something like they were got actually got rid of him already. I'm like, what the I know, hell? I, I know there were rumors of him of him coming up to uh, the 205, but then like they were kind of unsure, and then for him to just come out of nowhere with this, uh, yeah, with this tournament and the good like get, getting the one victory, I thought okay, but that, that that's definitely put Leo back in the limelight. But then getting all three and beating beating Drew, Buddy this Murphy, is and a Lince, big deal, yeah. Like, all three of them are big guys, big names in the 205. Then say Dorado's. Oh, yeah, Another yeah. luchador that wasn't no joke. Like, he was awesome. And just Drew, too. Drew, I mean, Drew, when, en- when Enzo was there, Drew and Enzo were, like, the top heels. So to get yeah. to put the victory over him, a guy that's already established, not just on 205, but on Raw as well, that's definitely, like, a, a big push for Leo. Hell, yeah. Maybe Adams? Okay, okay, there he is. There he is, yep. Yeah. Adams right there. Interesting. Interesting. I, I mean, I really can see another belt coming. A six-man tag belt. That's we, we, we were wondering, uh, the, uh, like a tag, a tag cruiserweight, or either a tag women's, as well. The, well, they said the women's was coming. A tag, oh, women's. A tag women's. Okay. Yeah, that one's coming. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. They got you got tag women's coming. You got cruiserweight uh, tag team championships. You but got that only seems right now. The, the North women's. American Championship, Just and you got. Yeah. <clears throat> the dusty whatever then you got the, all these other battle royal no trophy things like they're trying to it's give like, absolutely everything relevance but then it's so hard yeah. to keep up with can't, all like, nobody even remembers oh yeah the, the congratulations there's, there's Jeff the, Jarrett while we're seeing him right now there's an actual now. cruiserweight championship that's vacated right now that there could be a champion and then, yeah. then the, the two guys there in the, should be <clears throat> the two guys in the running for that are getting the least amount of airtime and push and stuff like that yep while they're getting, while every every other title that they're trying to bring in is getting this. Right. Yeah, exactly. But I think like probably a lot of these guys that came from these other whatever and they were just complete superstars, like he was at the Bullet Club, probably were throwing fits because they didn't have a strap of any kind. I wouldn't like, think that. I, th- I think I think just with how WWE's. Like I, I'm, f- I'm fine with all the titles they have. I just wish they would have spread it out more because I feel with the way that they, a little more time. Yeah, in with, with they themselves, how they are spreading, how they're spreading to Britain, how like they're going more places, they're going like to India more and all that. Yeah. I feel like yeah, more talent. Sure, why not more titles? But just spread it out more. Exactly. Build them more up. I mean, the, the NWA had other titles. I mean, so. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't quite like this back then, but. You know but but just how Steve said, like while you're while you're trying to build back up the cruiserweight title, don't introduce like yeah. as many. Twenty-seven other, other belts yeah. at the same yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. 
can not only can you not shine up the belt, you can't shine up the participants. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, Cedric, who's the other guy that's for the cruiserweight? Mustafa Ali. Mustafa yeah. Ali, yeah. Like, does anybody care about either of those guys? And they're both well, Cedric Alexander is freaking yeah, Cedric, great. Yeah, yeah, he's been. Mustafa. Yeah, Cedric's an incredible wrestler, and, and Mustafa's before, good like, too. With, with but Enzo, when Enzo was there, he was like on the on the rise. Yeah. When Enzo oh, died. he was the only one to give Enzo any kind of. Mm-hmm. That they, well, that they were allowing to give yeah. a push towards that. that. I'm saying Enzo was the worst one, but he can make you want to watch TV. Uh, he you love to hate. Yeah. Uh, exactly and what the, he was. Those guys can do all these cool flips, but they're not, like, exciting. Enzo, something Enzo missing. definitely got, the, got, a, got a jump off for 205. He definitely got a little bit of a popularity going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think with, with Triple H running it now, how they said, I mean, if he's running it like NXT, yeah. it'll definitely help. And then, you know, and, uh, as far as developmental goes, I mean, it, once now that Al Snow is about to go to old VW, uh, I believe there's going to oh, be some oh, serious definitely. talent coming. I don't know how how much affiliated they are, they still are. I'm sure they still check there as a. I'm sure just like Evolve, just like all the like PWG. Yeah, yeah exactly. They still check there. So. Every independent wrestling organization mm-hmm. is a, get potentially a scouted. There's always a guy out there sitting, analyzing, oh, yeah. watching all you guys, yes, thinking, are, man, which one of these guys could fit best in my storyline? There's always there's guys that I mean, scour the internet. Yeah, they're Don't think that one watching. of these days I'm not going to push a promotion and you guys won't be like my top heels. Scout. Oh, oh. oh, fudge. Oh. Fudge. Oh, my. Uh, table oh. for you, Adam Cole. A table for oh. you. Okay, my bad. After what he's Ow. done to AOP, though, like. Ow. Oh, that was dope. So this is for the belt and, and the trophy, right? Yep, yep, yep. This is the Dusty Championship right here. And this AOP, is... won it la- AOP won it last year? AOP won last year, yes. I feel like they, they are going to win this year and yeah, get yeah, the follow. Yeah, There's no reason for them not to. I ho- yeah, two they, in a row they, would be so bad. Yeah, the, because all these other guys are singles guys. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Fish and O'Reilly yeah. from Red Dragon, but... O'Reilly was Ring of Honor forever. Yeah, O'Reilly yeah, and like, Adam Cole, that was the original deal. Mm-hmm. And they both first got signed. That Ring of Honor supercard, though, tonight. Because me and Jimmy were Adam Cole and his original tag partner. Him and uh, Ty, T- I heard uh, Veritas. Veritas. Was, Veritas is trying to come back. Veritas? Yeah, Tyler Veritas. Huh. When him and, uh, the Veritas. Wait, I think I saw his name on something, but I can't think of what it was. There was a couple of them. Uh, Joe Gacy was another one that started with them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ryan Slater, he was another one. There was a group of CZW guys that all started. CZW yeah. was fucking... Alex nice. Cologne, is that yeah, his name? Yeah, Cologne. He, he's uh, he's a uh, rock star pro tag champ right now. Have you seen their gimmick that they do now? He does in mm-hmm. rock That's pretty good. They do like, like a, it's like a Knight Riders kind of thing. Oh, oh really? They were like skull masks, like weird skull masks. Oh, yeah. Cool. His buddy wears like a... Not like a, a corset, but it's like... Like a warrior kind of corset, like a straps one. I don't know, I don't know what like you'd call that. A male corset, sort of like an armor. Kind yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, it's like the leather. Kind I know of, what yeah. you mean. It's just a key. Yeah, that's, that's so what I told uh, Ron. Right, yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah like yeah. that. Cause you got them love handles. <laughs> yeah, and then you kind of keep it in there a little bit more, and you ain't gotta be. So uh, let's talk a little bit about um, your last event, your last uh, match you guys had. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. You don't let's, want. Okay. Let's not talk okay, about we won't. That. We won't. We'll just stick to the WrestleMania stuff. That's the worst. Talk about the yeah. worst possible subject. What happened? We won? Did we win? I think Did we, we win? Won. Did I win? Let's just say we won. Yeah, we'll just, that's where, we where I was at oh, yeah. with it because no matter what, you guys are winning yeah. regardless. Are you, you know, talking about so where we killed that guy? Yeah. Killed the guy in yeah, the, we did it. the afro? Yep, it's it. He's over. He was gone. Yeah, that that was an interesting. We, we have been, we've been in the ring multiple times with both of us. El, Elroy, Elroy Smooth. Elroy Smooth. Never as Elroy Smooth, so seeing that was. Was something else? Yeah, that character. Mm-hmm. The, the, the I wasn't a fan my favorite of that part. Character. Was he's supposed to cover cover Jimmy for a pin? One, two. I come in and break the count, but I don't touch him. He just sees me and I back up. Oh, I'm scared. I got up. that on video. Yeah, and he starts taking <laughs> his jacket off, and I'm supposed to be like, no, 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 no. And he's so big. He can't jacket. get the jacket so off. Tiny. Yeah, so, so he's like, huh, huh, and he's like stuck. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my, goodness. what's gonna the happen? Gonna get 
<laughs> had to roll up and just freaking rip yeah, it off. Yeah, thank God Jimmy around. pulled his jacket down. I was like, man, it's going to be great. That was my favorite part. Man. Uh, and yeah, his afro yeah. fell off. <laughs> and then you're out there dancing to him. Yeah. That shit was funny. It was, it was dancing for, for something else. But all in all, it was it was a fun event. It was a good event. I, uh, I wish it would have went differently for us, especially how we built everything up with Greg and just how everything got to that point. I wish it would have came off better, but... It is what it is. Well, yeah. from here, you just keep it moving. Keep yeah, it going oh yeah, strong, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. always do. Like, everything will work out just fine. I guarantee that. We definitely know what we need what we need to do. Yeah. And, like, and MCW from here going forward. Yeah. And them straps, MCW, need to be back on these guys. Yeah, those straps. Yeah, we, we these are the most... This is the most deserving. Those new belts are beautiful. Best tag team. Well, we do have two consecutive victories over the, over current, the current tag, tag team. Yes, teams. exactly. So, squashed them. Now, do you have a match coming up in the next one? Next weekend, we tribute. have. Uh, no, we're, we're, at Tribute to the Legends, we're on. We're not on the the Hollywood show. We're, in, uh, we're at VCW next weekend on the 14th. Vanguard, Vanguard Championship, Championship Vanguard. Wrestling. Check and your champs there, right? Official VCW on Twitter, Vanguard Championship Wrestling on Facebook. We're the tag champs there. Yeah. We send out open. We've been sending out open challenges the past couple months, and we've been getting turned. You've been champs there for how long? We have been, or two-time champs. We've been champs for three years. We lost them for like four or five months, but then got them, got them back, and yeah. won them ever since. Okay. Yeah, we don't so like to talk about those days. Nice. Yeah. Our, our, our debut, we won them there, and then we just made uh, our return back to the same place three years later, where we won them and kept them there. Nice. Hell yeah. So lately, it's just been opening challenges and. A bunch of retards and turds been. I'm sorry, I don't. Whoa, I don't man. mean to use the R word. Oh, he said, oh, yo. A bunch of right. turds that uh, I'm out of just have, <laughs> have, <laughs> been, uh, sorry. have been stacking up to us. So we've just been dealing. I with mean, that. you got to have the the competition has to be there to step up that's, to the game. That, that's been our big problem. When you're setting the bar so fucking high. With VCW, that's been right. a big problem with us. We see we see everybody. They bring in Billy Gunn. They bring in Gangrel. They bring a whole bunch of big names in. For every other title but ours, but we're sitting there wrestling students that have the five five minutes before the show they're putting up the ring, and then, and then we have to wrestle them. Guys that just came out, whichever exactly want to be school. They're that putting just in started. all the big bucks for everybody else but us. Yeah, and we, and we have a big problem with that, and we, we feel very disrespected. Oh, I and they know one hundred percent, one hundred percent. We definitely let them know at the, at the last event. Yeah, definitely who with the, with the guys we think they we got the there. message, but if not, then this weekend we got another message for you. Let me tell you something. Hell yeah. So yeah, that's, I mean, good on you for getting the championship there. And hopefully MCW will wise up and put them back on you there too. Well, I know, I know at the Legends, I think at the Legends they normally do a, uh, a, a bunkhouse battle royal. So I'm thinking we're, we're definitely, either the winner of the bunkhouse battle royal. If you gets, guys are there, I'm there. Gets a shot. I'm at coming to Hollywood this want. time. That's so right. We have the numbers game in yeah, the battle exactly, royal. Exactly. I think, it's I two think of us. If we do that, that's our best shot. That's our best shot right now. Because definitely the, the, the disrespect is there. Yeah. Just, just seen by Robbie and Bobby getting a title shot before us. I, and that is unbelievable. The disrespect is there. Unbelievable. So we have to do what we have to do. So we enter the bunkhouse battle royal. We get the boot. We get the title shot. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing they can really do about that. No, not at all. Like. But just like Steve said, two two consecutive victory, victories. These guys have barely done anything in MCW. They get a title shot before us, and it it, it bothers me. That's, that's what bothers me about. It waste, is a bit wasting ridiculous. Wasting my time with Dre Excellence. Yeah, you know, wasting my time. You're with getting a guy over, you know, and essentially when you're the better wrestlers. It was a uh, real good time beating up Greg Excellence. But it, it it didn't do anything for us. So we we got to get those tag belts. Yeah, that, that's the main goal. That that's got to be the As goal. As seen here by Mr. AOP. AOP knows what's up. Yep. They got to get the tag belts. And here it is right now. Belts. That dual power bomb thing. Boom. Kaleidoscope is that what it's called? Something like that. I, I can't. It's called kaleidoscope. I no. <laughs> what kaleidoscope? Uh, like super collider or something. Like super that. collider. That's exactly what it is. Super kaleidoscope. This right there. That's the their other finisher. The, is that over? Oh, okay. What? Roddy just saved. Roddy's been. Yeah, they, they've been giving Roddy the big, the big fight story. Like he's been, he's been the fighter. I'm telling you. Through everything with. He's that. a hell of a wrestler. He, oh yeah, I've, I've loved with uh, with the whole Gen X when he came in the uh, ROH. I've always, he's always been one of my. Oh, he killed it in Ring of Honor, dude. He definitely killed it in Ring of Honor. That was always one of my favorite things about uh, TNA. Uh, TNA's like first, I think their first Spike TV match. They had uh, like fans vote who they wanted the first match to be, and it was AJ versus Roderick. And it was 
AJ's match. always been one oh, of yeah. my absolute favorites. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> always. So the Kurt Angle and Ronda and Steph and uh, that I'm really Triple I'm, H match. What do you what do you guys think about that? <clears throat> I'm I'm really interested in that because I feel the only person who is 100 percent in ring is Triple H in there. I feel like a Kurt, Kurt's beat up. He's not. He's just old. You know, he can definitely go, but I don't think he, he can go that good. Ronda isn't where she. You know, she's not up to. to Talent wise, I mean, I'm not saying she can't do it, she can definitely hang, but she's not experienced. But yeah, enough, this being like her first match, it's going to be weird. And Stephanie, just not, I think Stephanie's got a good character. Stephanie can definitely carry her own in there, but just, I mean, as, as a wrestler, but not wise, on a full on tag yeah, team yeah. match. Like, who, who knows what she'll be able to do? We'll see, though. Maybe she's been like seriously yeah. training. I mean, I feel it'll, de it'll definitely be a lot of Triple H and a lot of Triple H putting yeah. here comes this. <laughs> I think it'll start off with some kind of little like chase me spot with Ronda and Stephanie. There's and gonna be a lot of, lot the of big, play. The yeah. big, the big meet will be uh, Triple H and, and Angle, and then the hot tag. Yeah, because that's like yeah. dream match shit right there. Like, you know. No, I feel like the only thing Ronda's gonna get in there is that weird ass slam move that she does now that scares me. I sure she'll have to get the arm. It'll definitely end with the arm. Bar. Kinda like. That'll be the finish. Yeah, the arm I, bar I think the arm bar will be teased in the beginning. Yeah. And then, but yeah. And then bring it back. Yeah, they're going to make it look like that's how she's going to win and do some other shit. But these two guys are two of the best at doing those kicks. Yeah, they, 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 I'll give it to him. Oh, he just kneed himself in the nuts. <laughs> and did it. That was Dude. his finish. Oh, shh. Wait, did Roddy just do yeah, that? Yeah, Roddy just. It's like, that was a, I, th I, think, I think Roddy wants that championship. Oh. Roddy just did the whole switcheroo. That is insane, Roderick Strong with the little bit of a heel turn. I, th I think we, I think we missed it. We were talking about, but I think uh, Pete Dunn got knocked into Roddy at some point, mistakenly. I think it was like a, no. a banana peel kind of slip. So I think that might have caused that, that right there. Well, that, then that gives more of a storyline to get back to that UK Championship. I guess. Yes, yeah, that's just my head. It'd be already <clears throat> insane. You think? Okay, so now. So now Leo gets a shot tomorrow. Do you think do you think they might possibly give that belt to Leo? No. I don't no. think they're going to give it to Leo I, this I mean, early. Because Pete think, Dunn he, is, was like... I think he'd it. make a third round or, or a finals. <coughs> no. Well, oh, obviously... I, oh, yeah, true, I, def true, I definitely true. say Pete Dunn. I mean, I, I gave it to Pete Dunn, but I, I feel like Pete Dunn's definitely getting to that point where he doesn't need the belt. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that he lives over there. Yeah. That's what well, I was yeah, going yeah, to say. Too, he is British. But also, if you take the heel route with Leo, like... Then you have a, a Brit wanting to fight to get it back, or you know somebody from. Oh, oh. He's join. He joined okay. them. They've been bugging him to join yeah, the undisputed yeah, era for like quite a while. So now we've got Roderick Strong in the undisputed era, and holy shit. I like that. That's uh. I, yeah, I'm good with it. I'm definitely good with it. It's not not a problem. All of those are Ring of Honor alumni, yeah, so I mean, why the fuck shouldn't the they all the roll together like that? And then if he gets that UK title, did he train? Oh no, uh, Dave, was it David Richards that trained O'Reilly, or was it Roddy? I'm not sure. I think I think Roddy might have had a hand in training O'Reilly or something, but I know he's he's been there for O'Reilly. I'm Riley sure. Since. I know O'Reilly is who he beat for the, either one of them beat the other for the PWG title, so they. How long was the other dude out for? I don't. I know the injury had to have just happened. Like yeah, this just month. Was it, it must have happened on the last show. Oh yeah, show. yeah that, that, that's, that's definitely the reason why. Yeah, yeah. they're probably he's probably gonna take that other tag. But down. he's definitely a good fit. Like if there's anyone to put in there, yeah. just having the background with all them and everybody knows their background. Yep, mm -hmm. There it is then. <coughs> wow, it happened. Wow, awestruck. I mean, but it is what it is. It creates so many storylines now. Yeah. It is what it is, and, and it ain't I, what it ain't. I think everybody right. would have thought that Pete Dunne would have been the, the dick there, and he would have turned. But that definitely, there's fish right there. Yeah. Oh, and when they get the cup. They get the Dusty Classic. But, I mean, Red Dragon, well, it isn't Red Dragon, really, that won it. It was a I thought that was Marty Schurl. Marty Schurl. Marty Schurl. Marty Schurl. <laughs> Marty Schurl. Uh, JR was saying it. Sure. That's funny. <laughs> nice. A fox with it. I think he has a match at Supercard tonight. Oh, I'm sure he does. Ross. Marty's oh, Marty Skrull. Skrull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not JR. Marty's girl. Maybe it's an eight man. 
Maybe it's scroll them and the young bucks against somebody. Probably. Because there is a six man one with, um. Well, uh. The guys who. Uh, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. There are the six man championships in Ring of Honor. I hate Kazarian. Is Shelly? Yeah. Alex Shelly? It is Alex. No, 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 no. no. Is Alex Shelly's Shelly still motor shooting machine guns. I, I have his machine guns. I've just seen them recently. Yeah, really? he's still machine yeah, guns. Yeah. It's this other guy. I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. That would be a good a good pull for MCW to bring in. Bring in the machine guns. Machine Holy guns? Shit. Yeah. Dude, I love the guns in TNA. They were great. Yeah. I thought they quit. That's what I was saying. No, I, I, they're I think, think Saban got like two now. back-to-back injuries yeah. uh, for a while. Yeah. And Shelly was just doing other stuff. Yeah. So we might as well take a break for our viewers. Jay, uh... That video I have for the, the Purge uh, preview, the new Purge, because I love the old Purges. This one looks pretty badass, too. We might as well take a look at that now. Announcing the commencement of the first Purge. purge. Tonight allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Thank you. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. Isaiah, come say bye. Go do your thing, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legalized crime the purge. Do not purge! Do not purge! You and Isaiah, just stay with me doing the purge. Oh, we're gonna be fine on our own. We are here with Dr. May Updale. She came up with this experiment. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. Tonight, we'll see the good and evil in everyone. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the first purge. Our neighborhood is under siege from a government who doesn't give a shit about any of us. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of good people out there who we're going to have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We got to be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation. Parties, you predicted a much higher level of participation. Human nature does not obey the laws of politics. What the hell is going on? ex-military. Something funky going down, D. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. No one's coming to help us. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. They forgot about one thing. They forgot about us. What have I done? Stay strong, I'm coming. Because he's like from Amsterdam and stuff. So we're back. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know that. You know, I like movies, and that looked like a cool one. So I figured we'd just check that shit out. The Purge is always a big. It's always a big cult classic. There's always a big cult following for the for the Purge. I've yeah, seen the definitely. first one. The first Never seen it. Was crazy. The you will have to watch it, my friend. It's definitely a good idea. Like people definitely, definitely want to do that. In it their would life, be so. something insane to mm. see happen. It's like one of those fantasies. Real. One of those fantasy movies you get to see your fantasy lived out. Like, I want to kill somebody and not have repercussions. Like the apocalypse happening or something. Yeah, yeah. Walking Dead, like that kind of shit. And it came out around that time. The, the, the apocalypse movies are always, always big. So mm -hmm. that's why the Walking Dead took off like mm -hmm. it did. I, that's I cover a lot of that too. But l this last season has been disappointing me lately, so... I don't think... Yeah, I stopped watching mm -hmm. Walking Dead two seasons ago. Now I just read the recap at the, at the end of everything, so... Yeah, and they, they, you, all you gotta do is watch what the What was YouTube that town there? What's the, what's the name of the town? Alexandria. Probably? Alexandria, yeah. Yeah, they're in Alexandria, right down the road, you know. And then I watched... Uh, reality. Like everybody watching the, the head smash in to Gwen. Yeah. Everybody's gotta watch that, so... Yeah, that was probably, like, one of the most viewed videos on YouTube ever... Negan smashing Glenn's head in. 
and probably used for more yeah, comedy yeah, like shit, more memes than, and shit yeah. because even uh what's his name dave Chappelle. yeah he did, did that you see on that video SNL, that he did yeah, of all, with, of them? Uh, all his characters dude that was fucking hilarious someone else just uh then carl just died carl, carl just, just died, died carl got bit and uh Killed died, himself, killed himself. himself. Yeah, yeah. All you heard was, and he's oh, he killed him. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I know he died. I didn't know he. Yeah, his dad and and uh, Michonne didn't do it. Like, but he did it. He wanted to do it himself. Uh, I hear that. I hear the reason why is because he uh, was being inappropriate with one of the extras, and she like complained, so they r- like wrote him off the show, and then the yeah, kids' it was, real, it was dad in real life went on this crazy like Twitter rant. About I saw how, that. Yeah. Yeah, that his dad's like going My off. My son made that it. show. <laughs> Carl was a huge part of that yeah, show. Oh, yeah, in mean, the comic books, he's still alive in the comics. What's he in the comics? Is he oh, okay. in, in the comics? Oh he's still yeah, alive. in the comics. He's like, isn't he like the leader? Yeah, like, yeah he, he like, turns into like this badass, mm-hmm. like with the patch on and, and then his dad's hat and like the full trench coat. Right. Now nah, you did. Yeah, he takes his dad's role in the last in the parts group. of the comic. Here he is, Tommy End, Alistair Black. He has definitely grown. I, I, I didn't really watch a, a lot of him. Only uh, only really his American stuff with like PWG. We would come in mm-hmm. with that. But he's I, I definitely like a lot of him. His 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 kicks are really crisp, and just, you see a lot of people with that whole martial arts more Thai style. But he definitely. But uh, he's got that kickboxer yeah, shit it. down, and that just you know mysterious badass from wherever. And you, and you really don't expect it. Just seeing him, like you wouldn't expect like that that kickboxing style to be his style. Like, you'd expect maybe like a brawl. A brawl type, a little bit of cruiserweight, but dude can do some shit. Yeah, he moves like no other. Like for being as tall as he is, to be able to do this flips in mm. and out of the ring and all that shit. I like when they bring him in because they do the lifting him up. Yeah, that's that's really good. They're always good with the with the entrances. Like it's mm. that's what that's the big thing about WrestleMania. WrestleMania is always always two things for me. It's always gear. And uh, and entrances. That's what I'm most excited for yeah, tomorrow see. is the gear. That's why I was nervous about Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble, everybody was coming yeah. out in like awesome gear. I'm like, what are you gonna do for WrestleMania? I, I so know yeah, to, to outdo each shit each time, like can't so be I, an easy task. That's one of the ones I miss. Rey Mysterio, like Rey Mysterio in WrestleMania, like he was always. One I think he'll be back, to. dude. He's coming. Oh back. yeah, I, I can feel. I can feel it. He, he, yeah, he I think he was like look. right about to get signed again. He injured himself. Well, though. yeah, he did the Rumble. <laughs> Um, and when he came in the Rumble, it was a huge pop. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ, it was huge. Hurricane's trying. He got that huge. Yeah, pop yeah he's, he's really trying. He's, but like, yeah, he's been all trying to get with Cena. He's trying to go two hundred five. I think. Yeah, I, I thought and that two hundred five would, would. He be was good just for him. in Hagerstown would too with, yeah, with, with, with that thing. Yeah. So when, when he came, they were doing the two hundred five GM. So I thought he would have been a, a good because he was doing backstage stuff with with TNA. So. He would have been a hell of a fit because he's really good friends with the Hardys. Yeah. So like, um, Already he's creative, just like. Oh yeah, and he's real smart. Real. That's real what I'm smart. saying. He knows the business like no other. He's really good. He's got I his mask. I have been liking on. this. I have been liking that CN's been coming out wearing his mask. Yeah. And then taking it off. He's got to give homage yeah. to where he came from. I mean, for real. There was that really awesome picture at uh, I think after after the Rumble, it was like him, Ray, Lindsay, Grand Metalik, uh, mm-hmm. Sin Cara, Kalisto. It was a good picture. I like Grand Metalik. He's the shit. Cien Albas. <laughs> yeah, his name. I always fuck it up when I'm trying to say it. Andrade. It's Andrade. Yeah, I, I just forgot. I just forgot. Yeah, I, just say I, I don't even try it. Yeah, I just, I just say Almas. That's it. That's <laughs> all you need. But I was surprised by his the, him being in the Rumble was a surprise, and then the pop too. The huge. the reaction was huge, was really good. So I can definitely see him if he doesn't drop it. I, mean, I don't think he will as long as she, like he's got his um, escort there, his uh, valet. I was she with, fits that yeah, valet yeah, I was, role. I was surprised the, when he got the, the title, like, but then like now I'm like, all right, he's he's a really a really good champion. But he can he can right. definitely be called up and make it make an impact. I think he'll be called up. And make a bigger p- impact than what uh, Bobby Roode has made. Uh, Bobby oh, Roode uh, is just a theme song. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's been we've been talking about that yeah, a lot lately. That was I what made that pop was the glorious theme yeah, song. Yeah, I feel he's, he's really getting lost in the shuffle. Yeah, his, in, his in promos are, are nothing. His in ring work is bland. The thing they did they did with Charlotte was weak. Yeah, nothing like I I, I <laughs> love Bobby Roode. I've, I've always been like a fan, I do but too. He's, he's just not he's not standing out with everything else in that. 
in when that Rude show. was with TNA, I loved him. Yeah. Beer Money, I loved Beer Money. And as a heel, he's, he's a way better heel too. So just as a face, he's not really as a face. He's just just like Steve not said, fitting. just entrance music, he's not fitting. Yeah. So whether he needs they have the to, attitude. yeah, whether they have to like turn him heel or, or find a, a different angle for him. But it's a great way to have a storyline turn. Oh to yeah, go yeah. Heel turn with him. Yeah. I mean, boop, and I there think it that is. they wanted him to be heel originally, but his theme yeah, song was too over. Just, yeah, yeah, so it, it, so it killed it. And that shit is over like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. But it's taken him to the point where like that's it. So like now mm-hmm. he's gotta he's gotta get past that. Mm-hmm. Gift and a hey, curse. Hey uh, Jay, we got a collar and elbow video too, don't we? Why don't you go ahead and throw that on there? Collar and elbow. <laughs> Use code RingSmoke at collarandelbow.com to get all your T-shirts like these: hoodies, hats, pants. Anything you can think of, call on elbow.com, use code wings. There it is. Whole Collar three elbow. seconds of it. Call an elbow. Use code ring smoke for your purchases. You will get a little discount. Do they have sweatpants? Does Call an elbow have yes, sweatpants? They do. Ooh. Sweatpants, Coming hoodies. For you, Al Snow. Anything you can think of, they got sweats. them things. Yes, Support they do. your local indie wrestler. I like that yes. mantra. Collar and elbow, pro wrestling tees, the Hellcats. Check us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, they they've got their own pro wrestling tea store, guys, and they do got some badass shirts on there. I've been meaning to have one, but I just haven't got a chance yet. Um, you gotta wait. You, you, you gotta wait till we get iHeart THC one. Once we start restocking them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You definitely need iHeart THC. Well, that's oh that dear was lord, the one I was dear lord. At. That was like the lowest backflip I've ever seen in my life. Did you do the moonsault off the rope? Yeah, yeah. The like literally, okay. he was. He. It was close to where if he'd hit that thing, he'd probably broke his neck. So tall and lanky. He's a he's a beast, dude. Oh man, I thought they were gonna show. Yeah, it. that's why I was like, oh. "You bastard!" They you you really did, but they weren't. You know, I guess because it's kind of botch mania there when he goes that low. Hey, c- are we gonna end the show with the last dab? We most certainly can. It is about that time. Would you? Oh, shout out to District Dabbers. Shout out to Phone Homie. Uh, do you, did you get what I do? You, do, you, do you smell what I'm cooking with that last dab? I get what you're cooking with last that last dab. dab. I like do, that. Do you know, the do you, last dab. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hot are you, ones. Are you, you a hot, hot ones watcher? The hot ones. Hot ones. Sean Evans, if you're watching, and and you need more guests. Yeah, man. With fellow YouTubers. You should hit him up about doing like, like a last dab, first last dab, because he does he does weed smoking stuff. Did you see his one about? Yeah, uh, yeah I saw uh, working the, the convenience the store high. Was it, he was cooking shit with Cheech? I think like he did one. No, with Cheech with Chong. Chong, yeah. Chong. He did a cooking one with Chong. Yeah, I think I saw that one. It was with Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Last dab versus last dab. Last dab. Definitely. All right. Well, let me <laughs> get our last dab more over than, than his last dab. It'd be all right. I'll, I'll, oh, do, I'll do the last one. The lady. Right. Oh, the lady. Yep. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and our Instagram. Instagram, Hellcats410. On Twitter, the Hellcats. Check us out. Facebook, the Hellcats. Look us up. We're um, okay, tag team. We're also your favorite tag team. Your favorite tag team. <laughs> Everything Jimmy said was true. Other than that, uh, I don't know what my Facebook name is. My Twitter is. Sexy Steve THC. Oh. Jimmy Stars THC. Plug it in. Keep <laughs> plugging it in. Don't forget Vanguard Championship <laughs> Wrestling next weekend, April 14th, <coughs> Norfolk, Virginia, Boys and Girls Club. It's going to be big. We don't know who we're wrestling. Whoever gets our open challenge, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's noise pollution. Noise pollution, I'm tired of your faces. I'm tired of both of you. You're tired of your head, long hair and, and your bald your, head. Yeah, and you're tall. You got the worst of both worlds, with okay? Your, with your stupid Calling clothes, you. not matching. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, follow Brittany Blake at. Don't follow Brittany Blake. S- go- uh, just Google her. <coughs> Google her. Don't. Don't do it. Follow follow Pat. That's my mom. You can follow her. She's not on Instagram, hey. but you can follow her. Uh, at Fat Pat the River Rat. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That's deep cuts. That's deep cuts. Shots have been fired, and we are. Here. Shot on my mom. <laughs> I'm on, uh, guys. All right, so it's been another night. Thank you. Another evening. Thank you, thank guys, you, for sir. being here. Appreciate it. Much appreciated, my brothers. Yeah. Hate to see us go, but you love to watch us leave. That's right. You got it. <laughs> so, yeah, check me out, Real Deal Farms, McLeaf Smark, M-I-C. Instagram. You know, I'm Real Deal Corey Neal, as always, signing off. It's been McLeaf Smark. Goodbye and good night. It's only.